Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Uh, today I am looking at my planner for the week. Um, this is the week of October 12th to 18th and I'm filming this on the 14th. So this is where I am. Um, today is sort of a cautionary tale in forward planning too much. Um, last week I was dedicating my whole week to preparing for our daughter's baptism. Um, I did I think I need to double check that um, so basically I just needed to tidy up the house because we were you know we had a three week old baby so the house had gotten into a bit of disarray um, and there were just a lot of things I needed to tidy away a couple things I needed to like actually clean um, just in our living area before people were coming over and so that was what I was focusing on I also had to you know, have a dentist appointment and stuff like that um, and so there were things I needed to get done um, out in the garden that I was looking ahead to. So I, while I was working on planning all of this out, went ahead and jotted down some ideas for things I wanted to get done this week, the next week, in the garden because I knew that the weather was supposed to be cooling down. Well, it turns out the forecast changed and now it's supposed to be in the mid to upper 90s all week. And so fortunately, I was able um, on Sunday, after the baptism was over with, um, to get a lot of that done. Fortunately, my husband's a big fan of the NFL football, and so he just wanted to, you know, watch a lot of games. And there wasn't a lot to do around the house because it had all been done already. Didn't have to cook anything because we had a lot of leftovers from that lunch. So, um, we, I was able to do some of the garden stuff while he held the baby in the living room. Um, so that, that was good, and I was able to check off a lot of these things on Sunday. But, basically... <laughs> where it says main focus of the garden, that's kind of not the case anymore. I did end up, like I said, I was able to do most of it, um, and then I put in an order for seeds, because there's some more seeds I want, but basically I'm waiting now on the weather to cool down before I can plant them anyway, <laughs> because I had, if you look back at um, on my Instagram, there's a story that's still highlighted of um, a story, it's like a bunch of stories, of a garden tour and you can see I think even there the lettuce and spinach that I planted um, in the spring didn't do well like some of the lettuce literally never sprouted the only lettuce that did sprout was the stuff that I kept um, in like an egg crate in the shade and then even that we got one hot day and I didn't get out to water the garden until like noon unfortunately that day and by then it was burnt to a crisp, literally crispy. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing this winter as we live in Zone 10B here in Southern California. I can pretty much... Um, sorry, I just realized the audio is not going to be great on this. Sorry about that. Um, I There's like no frost here, so I can pretty much grow all, all winter long. Fortunately, I'm able to get the seeds we need and stuff um, through the mail because we're still not doing... Uh, out and about stuff in our life right now but um yeah basically that's my plan is to grow greens through the winter lettuce spinach um collards are gonna try brussels sprouts are not gonna go well I'm already telling you that um but we're gonna try it and broccoli so those are that's my plan is to go out and plant that stuff hopefully next week maybe if things are starting to look like they're going to get cooler and stay cool because I don't want to have to waste a whole bunch of seeds only for them never to sprout and then to start over again. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, but that is the plan. Anyway, as it is then this week, um, there's not that much left. I'm just kind of trying to stay on top of, um, like, my journaling. Um, is it is here? I did do my journal for yesterday. I did some... been working on ballot research. I have a couple more propositions that I need to... Um, do some research on before, you know, placing my ballot in a drop box somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, this really, I think I need to, I'm going to put a question, oh, there is a question mark. I need to do some research on that. Um, and yeah, my feet are weird, so I'm going to exfoliate my feet. The other thing that is starting this weekend on Sunday, and kind of the reason I was hoping to get the garden done before that, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be a project regardless all the way through the winter. But this here, 
uh, Christmas challenge refers to this needs a new cover page because this is apropos of literally nothing um, this is called the Catholic Sisters spelled without an R and with an A um, shop until you drop on your knees and pray which is a mouthful of a name but it's this Christmas challenge or pre-Christmas challenge, pre-Advent challenge that I found out about last year um, when it was too late to do it and thought, I want to do that next year. And then I got pregnant and then there was a pandemic. Um, so it's going to be different than I thought it was. But basically the idea is you spend the six weeks before Advent getting all of your Christmas shopping done so that once Advent comes, all the shopping is done, everything's wrapped and ready to go, and you can just focus on like getting ready for Christmas spiritually instead of, you know, consumerist whatever stuff. So that is uh, six weeks before Advent is this Sunday. So get ready, guys. That means it's ten Sundays before Christmas. Yeah. Oh, and Christmas is like on a weekend. This It's on Friday, so it's almost a four-week Advent this year. Um... So that's starting, and basically I need to just, I've, I've printed out, or I have uh, put headers for those six weeks here, um, but I need to copy down the actual tasks for most of these weeks before it gets here, but this is week one. And so I, if I forget to link it below and you're interested, then remind me, I'll try to remember to put a link to something below um, that has information for that, if you are interested in it and journeying along. The other thing, like I said, I'm working on the garden, and so I'm focusing on... See, this is the list of things. I need to double-check that I'm not missing anything that I want to plant, and then I'm going to work on the layout. Because this was uh, here. This is the layout for the spring and summer. And so what's been gotten rid of, all of this corn, complete wash, didn't, did not ripen at all. It finally died. I stopped watering it, and there it is. There was a little spinach here at some point, but that's gone now. Um, I tried printing chives in with the marigolds, but it never sprouted. Uh, but the green onion, basil, and parsley are still there. Um, the zucchini is still going strong, but the squash, I got one squash and that was it. That was on the second plant, so for whatever reason it didn't go great. The t this tomato plant did pretty well, but this one did not. Um, all of the cucumbers... The new the new batch of them didn't work. The carrots never sprouted during the summer, and I wasted a lot of seeds. But I'm getting some more seeds, and we're gonna do carrots over the winter. They just it got way too hot. The oregano is doing great, and these marigolds are dead. And then there's a sweet potato here, but I still need to figure out when to know when it's ready to harvest. So I am going to do some layout stuff uh, for the fall and winter. I'm looking forward to it. I guess that's really it. Here we are. This, I think I only have, yeah, one week left of, uh, of pre-numbered weeklies. So I might try a different weekly spread for the week after this, and we'll see. Um, at some point, very soon, in the next week, couple of weeks, I'm going to be moving back into my regular routine of doing, like, monthly plan with me's and a weekly plan with me once a month and all of that. So look forward to that. Uh, if you have any questions or recommendations or anything you want uh, to contribute to that process, you can leave those in comments below. I love talking to you guys about all this. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday. Um, our baby is a month old now, and so that is going to be sort of a one-month update on her and me, and then we might move on to some other topics for Sundays. So also, if you have topic suggestions for lifestyle slash baby stuff, um, leave those in comments because I will always be needing topics. So I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Love you guys.